to say is uh, it's interesting that you mentioned the change of career that I had because I've been a um, um, professor of computer science for 15 years. But my inc inclination was towards meditation for no apparent reason to me at all. So um, I was practicing just to be more able to, to be more concentrated and be able to make decisions with clear mind. That's what I thought when I started uh, meditation. But later on, um, I was very interested in learning how to teach meditation, but do it in a more professional way, in a way that is more related to how university is, because that was my background. That's why I went to UCLA, the University of California in Los Angeles, where we were taught how to be, uh, how can I say that, even spiritual or being quite uh, more open to different kinds of practices, but in a way that is uh, scientifically proven and is actually aligned with the way we operate anyway. So that's why I am appealing now, I'm talking to everyone who is just a bit open about these kind of practices. You don't have to be super spiritual or any of that. You can just be open to, to understand that there are lots of practices that we can do, everyday people can use in the Western world to be able to be more efficient. The other subject I wanted to introduce before we go into the actual presentation of what I'm doing today is the, the subject of leadership. So some people might think, oh, I'm not a leader, oh, I'm not leading anyone. We all lead our own lives, <laughs> whether we like it or not. And sometimes we feel like somebody else is leading us, or we need to lead others, we need to pull them or push them in different directions. So, so the skills I'm going to introduce today uh, are also um, not only relevant to our working life, but also to our everyday life, family life and everyday life. So um, before I go into actually introducing the subject, I want to just introduce a very short practice. That's what I always do with any of my presentations to help the audience, whoever is here with us, to just be more concentrated and be more in the here and now. You don't need to know any meditation practice, you don't have to be a meditator or any of that. But I just want to gradually and very gently, if you like, introduce a practice that everyone can do before they go into their, uh, you know, whatever, do, whatever they're doing in the morning uh, into the office. That's what I used to do when I was going to my office before I switched on my computer. So I'll ask everyone to find a comfortable position. Just, just put your feet on the ground. To stay in your chair if you're in a chair, nothing to do, just don't have to change really, just stay with dignity as we say, the back is straight. And I'll ask you to not completely close your eyes, but just lower the gaze as we say. Just look at the table in front of you. So we just put the intention there to look at the table, whatever is in front of the table might be a notebook, might be pens, pencils. And we just breathe and we gather all the information that the eyes are giving us. Anything that's on the table. And we see it as we've never seen it before. Okay, and we allow the breath to settle without doing anything about it. Just looking every single object on our desk or whatever is in front of us. Just every little detail or maybe even the color of the table. Anything that's in front of us. And if we like and if we feel comfortable, we can slowly close our eyes now. Only if we want to. And then slowly and gradually, we can turn the intention to look inside the body. We can start with the heart, the lungs, see where the breath is. Just moving the chest slightly. Just feel the whole of the body now. The 
there's any tension anywhere, we just observe. So it's an exercise of observation. Just watching what's happening in the body. And as we sit here with the breath, as it manifests, it manifests in the chest, around the nostrils. We can just wonder about our motivation to be here. Are we leaders? Do we want to be leaders? Do we want to improve our, le our leadership? Or maybe we think we are too assertive or we are too much of a leader and we want to step back. We just stay in silence for a minute and see how we relate personally to leadership. How do we see leadership fits into our personality? Is that something we want to be or maybe not? And we slowly and gradually, we just can let go of all this contemplation. We can open our eyes, come back to our screens, <laughs>